Hi there, thanks for emailing me about your chapter six problem solve. Let's take a look at this step seven where it's telling us that the results that it's expecting are not what it's finding in your specific worksheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, flip over to your worksheet. I've downloaded it and I have it here on the screen ready for us. And um, there's a couple things that uh, we need to tweak. One of them is here in H7 when you're using the subtotal function um, for this one um, oh no you had it right you do want three yep to do the count of the text so that is right the others are correct as well I'm pretty sure I've looked at all of them um, but what's not correct is the filtering so that the results aren't correct because the table is not filtered in the way that the system expects it to be filtered. So you have it filtered here by transaction type. So I'm going to click the filter button and I'm going to say clear this filter from that column. If I go back to the instructions and go up a little bit, uh, is it step six? Yeah, here is step six says use the advanced filter. So using the advanced filter um, filter the list uh, in alliance with the criteria range above. Okay, so here we go back to the worksheet. So I'm going to start by selecting A1 all the way through, what is that, J2, under the data tab. Right. I'll click the advanced find. And I can see that you had this in place at one point, so it properly selects the list, it properly selects the criteria. I'm going to click OK. And now notice the list is much shorter and then look at the answers here 13 20 181 so on and so forth so if i go back to my it lab now the answers are as the system expects 13 20 181 um, so that should give you all the points back for step seven i cleared an earlier submission so that you can go ahead and make that correction and submit it again because that's what i'm always looking for is progress towards mastery of the skill which you're demonstrating well Okay, and then step eight, we have been struggling with uh, a little bit, so I just want to remind myself, um, oh, it's that table one um, using the, the, the pivot table. It might be related to how the information was filtered before the pivot table was created. So what I'd like you to do is after you make the correction for step six, which will correct the results for step seven, I'd like to ask you to go ahead and rebuild that pivot table because that source data is gonna impact the results of your pivot table. So give it a go and then email me and let me know if you have any other trouble at all.